Hello Kevin, welcome to my presentation of When We Were Young and Unafraid by Sarah Treem. Um, try and follow along with the slides that I sent you so you can actually see what the slides look like. Cool. So, the play takes place in Whidbey Island, on Whidbey Island in Washington State, <clears throat> near Seattle. And it is in 1972. So during this time, this is like the year before the Roe v. Wade decision. And it is also during the rise of second wave feminism, which comes up a lot during this book, during this play. Um, and it's also, um, and the, the play was also first produced by the uh, Manhattan Theater Company in New York City. At City Center Stage 1 on May 21st, 2014. So it's a fairly new play. So the author, Sarah Treem, is a 39-year-old female playwright. And most of her play... Oh, she's a... So she's actually more of a TV writer than she is a playwright. Um, she's worked on the affair she's was like a producer for house of cards and she's worked on a bunch of hbo shows um but she also has quite a few plays most of her plays have a high percentage of female characters which is interesting because i think you don't actually see that very much in theater usually you see more male characters um and <coughs> all of her plays are pretty feminist and um, include well-rounded women um, and so some of her other plays include a feminine ending and mirror mirror so yeah so the plot so there's a woman Agnes the protagonist is a woman Agnes and she owns a bed and breakfast that acts as a sanctuary for women who are victims of domestic violence um, her daughter Penny helps her with this um, bed and breakfast sanctuary thing. Um, but she's also very focused on, Penny is really focused on like studying, getting into Yale, moving out of here, getting on with her life. Um, and she doesn't really care much about boys or the prom or any of that stuff. Um, a woman comes looking for help after being beaten and raped by her husband. Her name is Marianne. Um, that is the inciting incident, Marianne's arrival. Marianne comes in, um, Agnes asks her a few questions, cleans up her wounds, and tells her that she's allowed to stay there, but she cannot come out during the day because she doesn't want the guests to see her. Um, and of, but of course, the next day, a guest named, as this man named Paul, is asking Agnes a question uh, about the shower and Marianne comes down and Paul sees her and Agnes has to make a lie saying that Marianne is her niece all this stuff um, So Marianne knows a lot about men and one night when Penny is up late studying uh, Marianne is there and they talk about boys and Penny confides that she has a crush on this boy Tommy, but she asked him to the prom like Agnes suggested and he humiliated her and said that he had to think about it. Marianne, she, because she knows a lot about men, she told Penny exactly what to do in order to get Tommy to ask her to the prom. Um, meanwhile, uh, a woman named Hannah shows up looking for work. And she, she's a lesbian and she's looking for, she's a part of the second wave feminist movement and she is looking for a group of lesbian separatists called the Gorgons. And they're actually like a real group that existed, like you can Google them. Um, so she's looking for the Gorgons and she comes to the bed and breakfast looking to do some handyman work in exchange for some food and maybe a room for the night. Um, Agnes says no, um, but they talk and, and, and you know, Hannah ends up fixing things around the house and Agnes and Hannah get closer and there's actually like a, an attraction between the two of them, um, which Agnes doesn't want to admit. Um, so Marianne and that guest that saw her, Paul, 
go on this date and they start like a romantic fling. Um, and Penny comes home after from school that day and she says that, you know, Tommy asked her to the prom and Marianne and her are really happy. Um, so from there, it, uh, <clears throat> Marianne, yes, so Marianne and Paul have gone on the date. So after this, all of this excitement, everybody goes to bed except for Marianne and she calls someone. And then later on, oh no, so later, that, that, I'm sorry, earlier on in the play, Mary Ann was caught, caught being on the phone with someone. She was on the phone with her husband, John, who abused her. And Mary Ann is struggling a lot with being in love with him and still wanting him and still being attracted to him, but also knowing that he is going to hurt her again if she goes back. And she doesn't know like what to do she's really confused so she called John and so after they celebrate you know Penny getting into Penny being asked to the prom there Hannah comes back and says that there's a man outside and it's John and they call the police and Mary Ann has a really hard time and she actually like falls to the floor and has to crawl up the stairs because she's so shaken um, and that is the climax, where every sh just absolute shit hits the fan because John has come back. Agnes tells Marianne that she can't stay anymore, and um, so Marianne now has to figure out like where the hell she's gonna go. When Penny comes back, exclaiming that she had sex with Tommy and that she's gonna live with him forever and she's giving up college to be with him, and Marianne slaps her across the face, and Agnes comes down and. Marianne tells Agnes what's been happening and and the two of them together tell Penny the story of what happened to Marianne and how she was beaten and raped by her husband and how Penny shouldn't give up college for some guy that she doesn't know. Penny is really upset and just absolutely runs away. Um, and Marianne decides, Marianne, Paul, the guy that she was going on dates with earlier, Paul asks Marianne to come and live with him, which she agrees to, and she goes with him. Um, so then at the in the last scene of the play, it's been a week since Penny's run away. Hannah comes back from, Hannah returns from being with the Gorgons and tells Agnes that she doesn't want to be with the Gorgons, that she didn't find what she was looking for with them, and that she, really she's in love with that she's in love with Agnes and she wants to be with her. Agnes turns her down because she is not ready to confront her homosexuality, but she does talk, tell Hannah about how Penny is not her child. How, no, <clears throat> so Hannah's really upset that Agnes turned her down, but then Agnes is like, hey, wait, help me, Penny ran away. And Hannah feels very protective over Agnes and Penny, so immediately is just in, ready to help. Agnes tells Hannah that Penny isn't really her child, and Penny is the child of a woman named Leah. Agnes and Leah were really good friends, 